Hello, this is Stuart Gray, and I'm doing this recording on uh, one of the brilliant new features of AutoCAD 2010, the ability to attach your PDF files directly into an AutoCAD drawing. Let's get started with inserting a multiple page PDF into an AutoCAD drawing. This one I'm working with is a brochure from a window manufacturer. And the easiest way is simply drag and drop from Windows Explorer into the AutoCAD windows. But I'm not quite sure which uh, page numbers I'm working with, so it can't work this way. It's also possible to go to the ribbon and from the Insert tab click Attach to AutoCAD you're looking for a PDF and search through the uh, Windows directories. Or another way is from the Insert pull down, click on PDF Underlay. The like way I like to work is to click on the XREF flyout and uh, attach PDF. Click on the PDF, open. On the left hand side you get this brilliant uh, preview of all the pages and I am going to be working with pages 7 and 9 today. Click OK, pick a point on the screen, skill factor of 1. Zoom in on the second page. Pick a second point. Scale factor of one. Zoom extents. The XREF flyout. You can see they're uh, inserted as uh, separate differences. So we'll detach the first one and work with this one here. If we go to the line command, we can see that uh, AutoCAD recognizes the ends of all and midpoints of all the lines. So it is possible to trace over the tops of the drawings. There also appears to be some points in blank space that we have to be careful about. So knowing this, let's uh, scale the XREF to the correct size. So there is this point reference from the same point to the opposite corner. 630 mil. Zoom extents and zoom in. It is now possible to trace over the window. I'll just do this quickly. If I was working on actual drawing, I would take a little bit more care than this. Okay, so if we now detach the XREF, we can see that we are left with an outline of the window that can be inserted into an architectural elevation, or it could quite easily be a piece of mechanical equipment to make sure it will fit into a building. Thank you very much, this is Stuart Gray and that is the end of this tutorial.